What's going on, broskies? My name is Shavoki, and welcome back to some Season 3 God Guides on Smite. Today, we're looking at Ratatosker. He just got a complete rework. He's an absolute badass. He's a little OP at the moment, but guys, once he gets his changes, he's going to say the same, basically, finally. And the build I have for him is really awesome. The playstyle and the tips I have for you are really helpful and all that cool stuff. Before I say anything, my friends, I'm doing a two keyboard giveaway. A lot of you probably already know this. I did it on my Twitter before I announced it on a video. So, I'm giving away... This Orion Spark keyboard right here, that's one. It is a Chroma, a very nice, it's called a uh, Logitech G9, uh, sorry, G910 Orion Spark. A very great keyboard, completely custom customizable with, um, you know, Chroma keys and everything and all those awesome macro keys. And of course, I'm giving away a Black Widow Tournament Edition Chroma key keyboard as well. Now, both of these are able to get um, two winners, basically, and how it works is, there's a link down below to a Gleam. You click it, you follow all those things. You do all those things right there, and you'll get you know the, the max amount of points possible to get put into a raffle. Two people will win. Now, the two winners, obviously, we're like, what, what keyboard can I get? The two winners will be able to choose by picking a number one through 10. So say if I, say if I select number seven, and one guy picks six, one guy picks two. Guy picks six is gonna win, and he gets to choose first which keyboard he wants first. And they're both really good keyboards, so it's not really unfair at all. But anyway, the link's down below, guys, and the description down below. All that cool stuff. Let's get into the God Guide. This is Rad Tosker of the Sly Messenger, a Norse assassin. Just got to re rework, like I said. Very, very fun to play. Now, abilities, guys, his pass is really cool. But don't judge me if I say it wrong. Acorn of Yggdrasil. Now, it's a buff ability. It affects himself. Now, Rad Tosker spawns with a powerful magic acorn from the world tree in his inventory, replacing his item slot for boots. He can upgrade the acorn through the item store from anywhere else in the anywhere in the map to increase his power and movement speed. The fully upgraded acorn heals him when his ability successfully hit enemies. You'll see this when he he'll, just, he'll do an ability and he'll slightly turn green for a second, really quick. Now the tier three acorn heals 20 plus 40 percent of your physical power, so he benefits with more physical power. Clearly, really really cool thing. And um, this kind of plays into part with my build definitely. So some people haven't really been paying attention to this, but this is a really great pass to be honest. Now. Number one is called Dark Guys, a dash ability. It did get nerfed a little bit. It's not as cool as everyone's old Dark they loved so much, but it's still a very cool ability. It's a dash ability that affects enemies. Physical damage in a range of 55, Rad Tosser dashes forward, damaging and slowing enemies for three seconds. Dark pierces through minions and stops at the first god hit. Also, Dark Dart's cooldown is reduced by two seconds for each enemy god hit with Flurry or Acorn Blast. Very, very important. The damage is starts at 110 and maxes out at 260, plus 80% of your physical power. And the slow starts at 20, but maxes out at 40%, guys. It's a 40% slow for three seconds. Very, very huge. Now, my main thing with this is I leveled this first because it has great damage and it allows you to get it up faster and faster when you use, when you hit an enemy god with Flurry or Acorn Blast. Very important, guys. It says, once again, it says, um, Dart's cooldown is reduced by 2 seconds for each enemy god hit. The cooldown is only 12 seconds. So, I mean, you dart, you do your 2, you do your 3, you probably have, like, if you hit one god, you're looking at, like, a couple seconds left. It's really awesome. I love this ability. And do not forget, it goes through minions. So, if you're sitting in a solo lane, you're sitting in a lane with somebody, and the guy's almost dead, and he thinks the minions can protect him, dash his ass, guys, through those minions, fuck him up, get out of there. Rad Toss is a lot of fun, guys. The cooldown is 12 seconds, like I said, so a really nice ability. I level this first, then I level the three, then I level the two. That's how it goes for me. Now, the number two, guys, is called Flurry, a very awesome ability. I'm really happy with this one. It is an area ability that affects enemies' physical damage in a radius of 20. Rad spins around in a flurry of attacks, damaging nearby enemies, and reducing their physical protection up to four times. Damage per hit, it starts at 25 and it maxes out at 85 per hit, plus 20% of your physical power. It does not hit that hard at all, but that's not why we love this. The physical protection per stack, is starts at 2 and maxes out at 6 protections per stack. So you'll get 4 hits, so 6 times 4. Awesome stuff, guys. It's a really great ability for melting down those tanky people, even reducing, erasing hunters and all that cool stuff. Maybe the other jungler that built, that built maybe Breathwood of Valor. Awesome, awesome thing. I'm really loving this. Now, it's just physical protection, so keep that in mind. So it's kind of dumb to waste it on maybe a Giannis or something like that in, in middle lane, but if he's building physical protections, hey, he's gonna get fucked up. So a really cool ability. I love this. My main thing about this is um, it's great for if Aries pulls everybody in, you spin around doing the damage, um, and also reduces your one cooldown, so don't forget that. If you have to use that to get out, 
reduce your cooldown. If you're, if you're in a team fight, you're running around, don't forget, this ability doesn't, doesn't make you stand still. You can do it while you're moving. So it's a really cool thing. I love it. It's fun, but like I said, I level it last because, yes, the protections are nice, but the damage is nowhere near needed, and the three and the one hit really hard for Rad Tosker, and you really want to have that burst damage with Rad, so, in my opinion. And I think most people will agree with that one. Now, the three guys is called Acorn Blast. It's a projectile that affects enemies' physical damage with a range of 55. So a longer range, but it's a very thin, narrow shot. Rad Tosser shoots a blast of three acorns forward in a cone, each dealing damage. Enemies hit by more than one acorn will take additional damage, and enemies hit by all three are stunned for one second. Really awesome, guys. A one-second stun. So, it doesn't seem like it's a big thing, but you guys will see the gameplay, because I did record the gameplay. This part, sorry. After the gameplay. The gameplay... Uh, I, I get a really awesome setup with a stun, and that's just how it works for Rad Tosser. He goes in there, slows him with the 40% slow on his one with max level, and then stuns for the one second. It sets him up for a Giannis kill, sets him up for a Nezja ult, whatever it is. A lot of cool things, a really good setup. So Rad Tosser is definitely viable as a jungler, as a solo lane, and that's basically about it. So, a lot of fun. But, the damage per acorn is 50 at lower level, guys. 50 per acorn. And I also build Bluestone. Jesus, if things hit hard in the early game. And then 110 at max level plus 30% of your physical power. So less percentage of your physical power and less damage than your one. Your one is, sorry, my bad. Your one is 260 plus 80%. So definitely your one's a lot harder hitting and the cooldown gets reduced when you use this ability. So I do level this second. So one, three, and the two. Now that's it, guys. I don't have much to say about that. It's a really good thing for lane clear. It hits hard. It's fun to use. It stuns great on it. And it also, it just, work, it just works so well for a lot of things. You can throw it towards an enemy group, and it has a good range, 55, guys, really nice range. So, through the Cosmos is ultimate, it did get a little changed. Um, still a very fun ultimate to use. A ground target, self ability, physical damage, and a radius of 10. Rad Tosser charges up, then leaps from the ground to a branch above his head. Upon landing, he deals damage and knocks up enemies. Through the Cosmos can be canceled or timed out from any other branches, causing Rad Tosser to strike down in the current target location. So, a simple right click. Now. It does 440 damage plus 70% of your physical power, and it has a knockup, my friends. This is a really great ability. It, this definitely shuts them down for that one second knockup, plus that one second stun, plus that 40% slow, guys. This is a really great combo. It actually works well for that Tosker. Last time, Rad Tosker's his ultimate was kind of a chaser or a runaway, and it wasn't. It didn't do that much damage. It was nice to finish somebody off. It was nice to, you know, maybe initialize sometimes, but truly, it didn't play a part. And it's kit. Now this now is a knockup with a stun, with a slow, with a sorry, a knockup with with the slow, with the with the uh, protection drain, and then the three punch with the stun, and then your team's messing up the whole time too. So it's a really great thing, guys. I love this. So I level right now. You'll see how I level, guys. We'll skip the skips. Build quick here. <laughs> I level the one first. I have the one maxed by by ten. I have the the, uh, the the three maxed out by fourteen. And of course, I'm working on the ultimate in the, in the two seconds. So, guys, I want to pause it right here and take a picture of that. Whatever you need to do, that's my build. It works really, really well. I love it. Now, let's go to items. I start with the first part of the acorn, of course. I go bluestone and two potions each. Love it. Great start. Great, great, strong start. I go acorn, Yoan's Wrath, Breastplate of Valor. If there's if there's more physical than than uh, than magical, of course. I usually go breastplate for the cooldown. Really nice. But sometimes I go bullock of hope. Transcendence, Bloodforge, Deathbringer. Now, the reason I have this Titan's Bane here is if for some reason um, I really need the penetration, I'll go Titan's Bane, but most likely 98% of the time I'm going this Deathbringer for the power, for the extra crit, and critical strike damage is increased by 40%. It just works well with me personally. There could be some things you can use instead. You could use Stone Cutting Sword if you really want to, all that cool stuff, but this is what I build. Really enjoying it. Stacks uh, this late are allowing me to have my carries get stacked faster. Plus, I'm telling you guys, this start, with the Acorn, Yoan's Wrath, and the Breastplate of Valor is just seriously strong with him right now. So I'm really loving it, guys. That's it for getting a part of the God Guide. Be sure to like it, show support. Please, every like really, really helps, guys. And also, like I said, the giveaway is down below in the description down below. Please show your support. Share it everywhere, guys. Let's get it big. Let's make sure everyone has a chance to win this these awesome keyboards. I'm really excited about giving them away. And of course, guys, Rad Tosser is amazing. So if you have any tips for yourself, tips that will help me maybe get better or other people down below get better, please let me know in the comments down below. Also, if you have any questions, go ahead and ask, because you know I'm always answering your guys' questions, especially about new gods or god guides. I'm really enjoying it. So, that's it. Let's check the gameplay out real quick, guys. Love your faces. Oh, yeah. And here we are with the second part of the god guide. Running a little late. Let's hurry up. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, we got that going. We got the acorn. We got the bluestone. We got these little sexy little potions going in right here. And we also got, we're going to need this, uh, 
beats. Oh man, this is gonna be an awkward group. I picked Brad Tosser, he picked Apollo, and then the last guy, last three seconds of the queue, picked Giannis. I don't judge. I'll give everyone a chance. We'll see what happens here. Uh, Brad Tosser is an absolute truck. You can buy this acorn anywhere in the map, so once I get, what's it called? What's it called? How much money is it? 1100 gold. I can go ahead and do this whole thing. I'm probably gonna give it to myself. No, he got it. Okay. No big deal. Hopefully he's a good Apollo, because if he's not, that is going to suck. Let's go in here. They do have a more aggressive group than we do. Okay, well, let's get... Yeah, I agree. Let's get this going. Let's get going. Anyway, guys, Red Hoster's an absolute truck. His early game is just insanely damn, insanely great. I love it. And uh, I used to hate Apollo. I mean, Apollo. <laughs> Red Hoster. I just wasn't too good with him. Um, I didn't enjoy him. And I... I just really didn't enjoy his kit. I know some people are like, what the fuck? You didn't like Brad Tosser, the old one, before he got nerfed? And I really didn't, because I didn't enjoy playing gods that were, like, really, really OP. And yes, right now he's a little OP, but he just got changed. So he will get, uh, he'll get changed. Um, a little, little bit of nerf, most definitely. And that will happen pretty soon here. So, we got that going. We're to max out the 1 first. And 1 has the most damage, like I did say. The 3 is definitely for the, uh, the damage towards a little, little bit more mid-game. And also the stun with the 3 acorns is amazing. Hopefully, we can keep pushing him back. Um, Medusa's late game, if she gets carried, is going to wreck the shit out of us, so... Hopefully, we can keep it up. So I stay away? I do my thing? Oh, that, nice portal. Nice portal, okay. There we go. Nice portal. That was good. Nah, that was sexy. That was a sexy little portal. So the acorns are really slim, but if you can... There we go, okay. If they could help me out, maybe, maybe. They could help me out, like, a lot faster. But, it's okay. Um, Medusa did a good grab. I should I should have dodged that one. Maybe a little bit of, a little bit of, a little bit of ham, but I think if they can get, get out of there, maybe. That'd be nice. Apollo might want to help him out, though. So, we got the, the second acorn. So, a little bit of a sexy push on Rat Oscar. I'm not sure who killed me. I think it was Rat. Right? No, it was Medusa. Medusa killed me. Okay, so I'd rather have Medusa fed, sadly, at the moment. Then around a tosser, so that might not have been the best move to make, but at least kind of set the, the the pace of the match. There's gonna be some crazy plays made. I kind of wish I had a dash up still. <laughs> I think I almost had a dash, almost, almost there. Oh, I didn't love my ultimate. I'm a fucking retard. Jesus, welcome to Smite Top Five Plays. I have no ultimate. That's fantastic. Oh, I mean, you never know. It can work out for me. I planned it, guys. I planned it. Oh, man, that sucks. Hey, it happens, though. It does happen, sadly. <laughs> Not with the pros, though. The pros have those steady fingers. Me, on the hand, I got those lame fingers. Uh, nice little damage coming off of the three, though, so it means it's not too, too bad. I'm almost level six already, so... I think by the time I get into another conflict, I will have my ultimate. But, in a conquest-type thing, that would have been a really bad move. <laughs> Joust, not too, too bad, because I have the ability to soak up experience, play safe, and really just get that thing back. I mean, Conquest you do too sometimes, but not always. Okay, where are they at? I'm gonna try to get this. So I can get it. So I can get it. Uh. There we go. And I got the ultimate too. Jesus Christ. Come on, guys. Help me out. There we go, there we go. This could be bad. Uh oh, this could be bad. There we go, that was good, okay. Glad that you're not the way I turned out, I was a little scared. Got quiet there, I'm sorry for getting quiet. You guys know I get quiet when I focus too hard. <laughs> and I'm gonna go back real quick here. Almost have enough for the sexy little, uh... oh crap. Okay, oh phew, I thought I'm gonna get full mana. Uh, some people leave without full mana. I'm always like, ah, why? Why'd you do that? Let's, get, let's go ahead and get this sexy little, sexy little mana camp for my man Giannis. I'm actually surprised we're doing pretty decent. Good thing is the uh, the Medusa isn't playing too well with the Kumbakarna, which is nice, but it could change. Uh, Medusa can is a insane carry, so her damage is immense on her one. Whee! Oh god, bad idea. <laughs> Wanted to fly. Nice, double stun. Medusa trying to get me? Come on, bro, really? That's how you do me? 
Uh, if he didn't, if he didn't dash, I would have got, would got the uh, protections on him. Working on the one still, so don't forget that one. Uh, make sure we're, we're actually getting the one this time. Uh, nice little damage, and loose down works so well with him, guys. A lot of people said telling me like, oh, I don't like loose down on rat. I like loose down on a lot of characters. It's just really good. There we go. Oh, uh, that's right. Get over here. Oh man, they ran. They, little... they ran. That was a dumb ult. I don't play rat, guys. <laughs> Why are you telling me, please? I'm the one that killed that fat man. Because I knew his passive was down. I was like, come here. I really wish my ultimate, though. Kind of disappointed that part. But I will back and go ahead and pick up my man Jotun's Wrath. He's my man. And I'm definitely going for the uh, Breastplate. Because we have two physicals here. So I'm going to be a lot more tanky. A lot more able to go into fights and do some serious stuff. And also, once I get the one maxed out, we're working on the three, and I'll be getting a nice amount of damage off the one. A 40% slow, sorry, off the one, and a nice amount of damage. Oh, do some serious damage. There we go, there we go. There we go. There we go. That was nice. Can't even, I don't know why they were focusing on me. I was like, dude, you're gonna get fucked up from behind real quick. I was hoping I got the kill instead of Giannis, to be honest, because I want to get a bunch of kills on this on this god guide gameplay for you guys. But hey, it happens sometimes you don't do it. I got you. <laughs> oh, I hear I hear him going ham. You really? Oh, okay. That's what that happened. Okay, let's go. Oh yes! That was awesome! <laughs> That was good follow through. See, Raz would be very viable. The ability to go in there and stun somebody for that long, which is, I don't think it's too long. I actually can't remember. I'm kind of derping right now. Uh, how long is it stun? Three seconds, three seconds. Three seconds stun is actually pretty long. So never mind, that is pretty long. Um, I really love it. If I think he can go in there, stun him, and still do his thing, Ben Gideon. Alright, here we go. Um... I have ultimate. I don't know where that. We we could bait this thing, but it might not be a good idea because I know. Okay, here we go. 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 You just did that. I hate Giannis sometimes. There we go. Oh my God! Get one hit, bro. Get one hit, bro. Don't say you're well. It's saying you're welcome. Oh, I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. <gasps> I lived. I lived. I lived. I lived. Come on, get him. There you go. He's dead. Okay, good. Worth. 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 Okay, I was so scared there. I was a dumb move because I did. I. I need. I, I think I need to say to people, which I need to start doing a lot better of, is paying attention to what relics they have. <laughs> I didn't think Rat had Aegis, because I had beads. I would think he had beads, because we we have some serious, uh, some a mez and a stun and a slow. I thought he would have had beads, but he didn't, so. God, I'm glad I didn't die there. I mean, a millisecond longer in that, to that turret, uh, I would have died. That was a really dumb play, to be honest. But I'm glad that I basically one hit that fucking Medusa, like, Jesus. She got messed up. Okay, I'm gonna save up the one. I'm gonna save up the one because we almost have. All right, boom. Just in case they came out, come at us. All right, here we go. Oh, I, I thought I turned away. I thought I turned away. I thought I turned away. No, no, no. Oh, Jesus. Uh. Oh, it was close, dude. I thought I was gonna die. I thought I was gonna die, man. I was like, no! <laughs> Alright, so the crazy damage off this one's gonna be fine. We'll, we'll get this down. This is definitely a win for us, unless somehow Kumba comes back and just wrecks our faces, but it's gonna be a win. Um, we could actually win right here, to be honest. Damn it. Dude, that ultimate. That ultimate, dude. Insane. Good Giannis. It's a good Giannis. Can be a little cocky. Um, but still a good Giannis. <laughs> Saying you woke him when it gives me kills. So I'm like, okay, you don't need to do all that. Bam. That's not needed. 
I need to get damage, so we got him back. This build's nowhere near complete, guys. Let's just show you. If you get carried a little bit early with Rat Tosker, it's just game over for them. Um, but when he does get nerfed, because he will get nerfed, um, I still recommend going this build because it's going to work really well. It's going to allow you to have a nice initial burst of damage, that little bit of demons. If they're oh, game's over, they gave up. So there you go, guys. If initially there was more magical, of course, I would switch out the, for Bulwark of Hope. Great shield, great health. Really nice protections. Uh, there are things you can go if there's a healer, like Pestilis, whatever it works too. But anyway, that is the gameplay, my friends. I really enjoy Rad Tosser. He's a lot of fun to play. He kicks some serious ass. And yes, like I said, he is, but OP. He will get nerfed. Most be definitely believe it because it's going to happen. Um, but other than that, guys, like I said in the beginning of the video, I am doing a giveaway, guys. Um, two keyboards. They're right here. I, I, I pulled them on the beginning of the video. You guys saw it. But they're right there. Awesome, awesome keyboards. Um, there's a link down below for my Gleam. Go ahead and do all the stuff there. And two people will have a lucky chance of winning a really nice keyboard. So I'm really excited about that one, guys. Thanks for watching the video. If you have any questions, comments, tips, concerns, all that crap, leave it in the comment section down below, my friends. You are all amazing. I love you all. The community is doing so, so well. We're at 6,000 fucking subscribers. Holy shit. Before you know, guys, we'll be at 10K, and I'm going to blow my mind. Once I get 10K, I'm going to freak out. So cool, cool stuff, guys. The support is immense. 5-1, and 7-2, one, and 1-0, one and, and the enemy team lost. Anyway, had a great, great time, guys. Have a fantastic one. Like the video, show support. Comment down below what you thought about the video. And of course, do some motherfuckers. Do sales. Ah!